Horror stories about this fishery are legion among legal harvesters. My fishermen had seen violence and been victim of violence in the Elba fishery. Uh, it happened in 2021 when they were kidnapped and uh, forcibly moved to another area. There was death threat. Yesterday, the department acknowledged it cannot manage the fishery, the minister's intentions repeated by a deputy. To share her view that it is not possible to have a safe and sustainable elver fishery in 2024, and therefore the fishery should not be opened. The admission greeted with scorn by Conservatives. This is a disgrace. How could you possibly let this happen? How does taking legal harvesters off the river help stop the poaching? The deputy told a parliamentary committee this closure, the third in four years, will prevent mixing or laundering of legal and illegal catch. This year, all of the harvest will be illegal. We will be out in full force. The department needs more time, she says, for regulations that will require a license to possess elvers throughout the supply chain. Tories are not the only skeptics. Um, I'd like to see, you know, examples made because that'll send a far, far stronger signal to the community than new regulations, etc., which they will ignore anyway because there's just simply too much money to be made. The tiny translucent eels sell for $5,000 a kilogram and are shipped live to China and grown for food. Many of the unauthorized harvesters are Indigenous, claiming they are exercising a treaty right that does not require government permission. Commercial license holders say DFO enforcement has been woefully inadequate. The shutdown will affect eight commercial license holders and their employees. And that's going to put 200 fishing, commercial fishing families out of work. Meanwhile, eight Nova Scotia bands had submitted their own plans for an elver fishery this year and accused DFO of acting in bad faith, saying, we provided them with a proposal that reflects our inherent rights as Mi'kmaq and included actions for promoting responsible resource management. DFO says it will make a final decision on the season in coming weeks. Paul Withers, CBC News, Halifax.